and welcome to the Baguette Investor channel for a new weekly video and this week I'm, ch I'm uh, showing you the stocks that I'm watching for the week so it's going to be interesting for you I'm going to show you which opportunities do I trade and how I aim at becoming a uh, money-making investor first before we begin you can download my trading journal on the Baguette Investor discord every single week when I publish this video I upload my trading journal as a PDF so you can check all the trades, my money management and all that kind of stuff. Might be very interesting to you. Uh, so if you're interested in that, join the Discord and download it, please. I'd be glad to share this info with you. Let's get to the TA. Uh, we start with crypto. Uh, boring, nothing happening, still in a range market. We have clear support with Bitcoin on the 30K. Everybody knows that if we break below the 30k region this is gonna get really bad it can get really bad if you zoom in on the daily something very interesting you may reuse in your future investing this is the Bollinger Bands uh, that measured the volatility of the asset and you can see that at the moment they are becoming very 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 narrow which means that volatility is near null it means volatility is coming so we should have a decisive move in either direction i can't predict which way it is going i'm just seeing there is support and as long as there is support i'm not bearish anyway crypto at the moment is not where my money is going to flow and where i'm looking at this is the stocks 600 uh, showing the strength of the european stock market as a whole it's the equivalent of the s p 500 for the european stocks and you can see that since the covid crash it's in a very very low volatility bull market and that this week it's trying to make new highs and continue the uptrend which is pretty good we can also look at the s p 500 which performed much much better than european stocks that's also in a very strong market uh, United States are much stronger than European. How can you see that? You can check the S&P 500. So you type SPX and you divide that by SXXP, which is the index, the stock 600. So you can see the relative strength. And that ratio, if this ratio is going up, it means the S&P 500 outperforms the European market. If it ra this ratio is going down, it means the opposite. So at the moment, we can see that this ratio is in a range. So what does that mean? It means uh, nor Europe or United States are outperforming. So as long as there is no clear direction, you can put your money in both and you will perform very good. My money is going at an equivalent rate in European stocks and um, American stocks. I'm trying to enter the market. It's the first the first trades you make are very interesting into an account because it's either you're losing money and your account goes negative or you're making money and then on the future trades you're going to take you're going to lose money that you made you're going to lose profits so your, your account is not going to turn negative at the moment i'm losing money on stocks so my stocks accounts are negative but because i made crypto money on crypto my whole trading account is positive but you really have to pay attention to that really manage your risk management in the first trades you're making because that's one of the most uh, interesting parts of you becoming uh, profitable or not we can also take a look at uh, commodities where there was a bearish alert last week where there was some kind of bearish momentum you can see that as a rising wedge and uh, commodities try to break down of that this rising wedge so usually a rising wedge is seen as a bearish pattern and if you break down a rising wedge with volume it's usually the sign of at least a correction so i'm paying attention to this commodity index which would mean a little um correction for commodities which would be appreciated because commodities have just exploded since the covid crash and revisited the pre uh covid january 2020 highs anyway let's get to my stocks opportunities so i have a few uh, stocks opportunities that i'm observing i'm going to start by the uh this is the european market this is a swiss stocks because if you don't know the swiss market is absolutely crazy at the moment how is the index i always forget the ticker of the index uh swiss market index is that right yeah that's it you can see that the swiss market index is trending absolutely crazy compared to other european nations and that it's in a range market 
and if it makes new highs i'm gonna be very happy so if you see a market a country that is trending very very strongly well you want to be invested in it and try to capture the future trends so you can see that this stocks is taking out is being taken out of a i don't know five years base with some kind of volume very very nice trade that you can take i might take it if the weekly close is great uh, this is an American stock. Uh, your American USA market are very, very well oriented as long as the S&P uh, stays bullish. You can see that this stock is a potential trade for me. Also, I have this stock, which is no longer a potential trade because the, now it's 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 went too high. But it was a potential trade because you had the base, the breakout with the volume over here. But I didn't take the trade. Never mind. I'm going to remove that from my trading opportunities. Which, what is that? It's HRC. What is this? It's a, a American stock. Same thing. Breaking out of a base. We want the volume. I need the volume to get in. But I might just try something. You know, your entry is here. And the theoretical, the theoretical, my English is complicated. Stop loss is near the previous low. It's a trade that you can take. Gonna take the stop loss as a red icon. There you go. That's a potential trade for me. Then I have uh, Arpo. This is I don't know about this configuration. I'm observing this at the moment because I have no idea how stocks like that perform. It's just that I'm seeing this potential. This is a potential breakout and as an SHAD strategy. This is a money management strategy that I will talk in future videos. Anyway, this is a strategy that uh, you trade without a stop loss and just invest the amount of money you're ready to lose. So for example, if you're ready to lose $100 per trade, you're going to take $100 in that position. So if it breaks down 50% overnight as a gap, you know, like this, you are not uh, destroyed. But I'm just watching this stock. I don't know if you guys uh, know, know anything about these kind of setups. This is a German stock that looks absolutely uh, beautiful. You have a downtrend since uh, 2017 uh, some kind of base it's better to have a, a horizontal base this one is a little bit tilted but never mind you get an extraction of the base and the first consolidation and to me if I'm starting to see volume and momentum I'm gonna set a trigger buy order above the consolidation and if it breaks above I'm gonna be taken in the trade and then uh right the potential trend that will come otherwise i will set my stop loss below the consolidation and if the trade goes bust i'm gonna be stopped out and lose a controlled amount of money this is what trading is all about if you're interested i have a whole list of interesting stocks in the american market the most accessible market of all so i'm gonna upload this list to the discord to thank you for staying until the end of the video so there you go this is my stocks ideas i'm making you know my steps into the stock market and i'm sharing this with you so it can be useful thank you so much for watching see you next week and uh, update your trading journal i'm gonna do it right after that thank you so much for watching goodbye